Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial, guys, I have the S22 Ultra here. And of course, this also applies to the S22 and the S22 Plus. Um, regardless, guys, as well, you'll find that this will also work in general for almost any phone. And this has to do with your tempered glass screen protector installation. I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot and have your screen protector working properly. Now, one of the biggest problems after installing a brand new screen protector is that you'll find that most of the times the fingerprint scanner does not work and you'll also find other than the fingerprint scanner not working you might have issues with the touch screen not being as sensitive i'm going to show you some tips you can use to actually solve this problem one of the first things you want to do guys is um, increase the screen's um, sensitivity so you're going to go ahead and go to um, settings all right, guys, so go ahead and go to settings. Once you're in settings, guys, you're going to scroll down. You're going to go to display. Once you're in display, guys, you should see a bunch of options as seen here. Now, of course, mine is already on. We'll go ahead and toggle on touch sensitivity. It's going to be off by default, so go ahead and turn that on. Now, of course, touch sensitivity is very key in that it will make the uh, increase the sensitivity of the touch and improve functionality with a screen protector on. This is a um, very important um, um, feature to turn on once you have on a screen protector. All right. The next thing that you can try if after trying that you're still having issues with um, sensitivity on screen. There's another thing that you can try in some cases um, that in some cases this might help. It might not help. You can turn off animation. So you're going to go out um, this time over to you're going to go to accessibility. Once you're in accessibility, guys, next after you're in accessibility to vis visibility enhancements, right? And then you're going to scroll down and you're going to look for this um, option here that says um, remove animations. Now, you're basically disabling the animation. So you're going to prevent some, notice it prevents some um, screen effects usually if you're sensitive to animation and screen movement. So you're going to basically turn off or reduce the animation. So in some cases, they do say that this works, so you can try to turn that on as well. And of course, see if that improves the issue with your um, screen. I've also heard about um, turning on always on display. If you have tried all of that and you're still having issue, you can also try turning on the always on display. Maybe that will help in some cases. I just want to suggest that so you can have that in mind in case you have tried everything else and it didn't work. As for the fingerprint scanner, guys, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go to settings. And you're going to go into the security section. That's biometrics and security. And you're going to go into your fingerprints. Once you're in your fingerprints, guys, you're going to remove all of the fingerprints because they won't work after the um, screen protector has been placed on. And what I find is that you are going to hit plus. You'll have to leave one, then hit plus and add a new one. Then you can delete the older one. Then, of course, let's say you're using this thumb here. Go ahead and add your thumb twice. Now, of course, if you had your thumb twice, meaning that it will increase the ability of the screen, sorry, of the fingerprint reader to actually detect your thumb. And of course, you can add in your fingers, but your main dominant finger that you use for unlocking, make sure it's added twice so the, um, the scanner can actually work very well. All right. If you do all of that, guys, you should find that your screen protector works flawlessly and you should have less issues. All right, guys, so I think I've covered almost all of the things that you can do to um, to basically have your fingerprint working with a tempered glass screen protector and as well the touch. All right, so I'm going to end the tutorial here. Um, if you need a good case, I have reviews on cases and, of course, screen protectors as well. And, of course, if you have any direct questions, please ask them below. As always, guys, Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye.